I wouldn't call him the true heir since Daenerys and Jon are still alive and one of them can claim the throne. But she did put herself in a difficult position. Gendry seems to be overwhelmed by the whole situation but someone might use him against Daenerys. Jon has already betrayed her trust and Sansa betrayed him. Since Jorah and Miss Andy died, Daenerys is all alone. She still has Grey Worm but he is a warrior not a politician. I suppose Tyrion still cares about her somehow but he's crushing on Sansa too and Sansa has become as manipulative as Cersei. Varys has always been a backstabber and Jon is useless when she needs him. This decision can backfire big time. Hello everyone, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. By accepting Daenerys's legitimization, he is acknowledging her as his rightful sovereign, as the monarch is the only figure in Westeros with the ability to do so. His fealty is now sworn to her in her claim, which is based upon the fact that his father, Robert Baratheon Lord Paramount of the Stormlands, only occupied the throne by way of a legal usurpation. Therefore, his inheritance rights are based off his father's last, legally, held title, in the eyes of the crown. He is the forgiven heir of a traitor. However, the Baratheons do possess a few claims through intermarriage with House Targaryen, the most recent being Robert Baratheon's paternal grandmother, Rael Targaryen, sister of Jaehaerys II and aunt of Aerys II. Therefore, following Daenerys's quadruple claim, asterisk in breeding asterisk, and that of her nephews, yes he is in line for the Iron Throne. According to herself, Robert Baratheon was an usurper to the throne, a rebel and a traitor, who murdered the lawful ruler of Westeros, her father. With the death of that usurper, and her return to Westeros, she has claimed the throne for herself. Her supporters acknowledge that. So as Queen of Westeros, Daenerys legitimizes him as the son of Robert Baratheon and lawful heir, making him Lord of Storm's End and the ruler of that top-level province of Westeros. She does not legitimize him as heir to the Iron Throne, because she does not recognize Robert Baratheon as a rightful king. For anyone who now supports him as heir to the Iron Throne, they would face the paradox of accepting Daenerys making him legitimate, as only a monarch can legitimize a bastard, and then rebelling against that monarch. This is something like how Jon Snow accepts the Pledge of Fealty from the young lords of House Umber and House Karstark. Both of those houses rebelled against the Starks and took up arms against him directly, he had the precedent of exiling or even executing them and their kin, but he chose not to. He ignores the traitorous actions and forgives the heirs of those traitors. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.